At first glance, this vehicle doesn't look like anything else you may see driving down the road. It's built for efficiency. We're the only one uh, in the U.S. that's making a solar electric vehicle. Electrification, I think, gives us a means to have more control over our energy. Solar vehicles, solar electric vehicles, I think give us the maximum control over that energy usage by generating it at the vehicle. This three-wheel car with two seats from Aptera Motors is built with weight and aerodynamics in mind. Solar panels cover the top of the car and it's made out of composite elements, not steel. The steel is what most companies use, but composites are much stronger than steel per unit weight. So we're able to make a vehicle that's still strong and safe. They're also used in things like Formula One, using aircraft, uh, spacecraft. Less weight means fewer batteries needed to power it. There's just some physical limitation in the amount of batteries they can put on a passenger vehicle. And the faster it can speed up. I think it's really just the, the overall idea and the ethos of this car of doing the most you can with the least possible. And from an engineering point of view, uh, just overall efficiency, uh, you can't beat that. Um, just so, so, so many things uh, improve when you are able to make a really lightweight car. Nearly 1.8 million electric vehicles, or EVs, were registered in the U.S. as of 2020, three times more than in 2016. Overall, it's still roughly about 2% of total vehicle sales in the entire U.S. Renewable energy expert Dr. Jay Kim says EVs were introduced years ago, but Tesla made the EV market what it is today. Now a lot of companies are looking to advance in this sector. It's a very saturated market. He says many of the big car companies have the ability to mass produce, so moving into the electric space might be easier for them than a company starting from scratch. Um, ultimately, it comes down to value and economics. At Aptera, their design is focused on just that, accessibility and value. The car runs from $24,000 and up and can drive up to 1,000 miles on battery with an additional 40 miles from solar power. We use far less of the most expensive part, the batteries. In terms of actual EV technology, I think they're really the biggest auto in terms of efficient gain. It's going to be the type of battery you're going to use, I think. Um, the lithium ion batteries are going to take us only so far. If you want to drive volume of sales, I think it's primarily range. That's what we're using our efficiency and technology to optimize. Aptera will put their vehicle through safety testing before they begin full production for the over 10,000 pre-orders they've already received. Our goal is to make this vehicle as safe as any regular passenger vehicle. Steve says they plan on having a production-ready vehicle by the end of the year. In the future, they'll look at applying their tech to more mainstream passenger vehicles. I think electric vehicles are next step, and you know we are living through probably the most exciting time because when we went from riding horses to cars, now we're going from a gasoline-dominated society to a potential EV electric vehicle-dominated society, which is a huge transition. With photojournalist Luis Ramirez, I'm Chloe Nordquist reporting.